Hi, I'm Cherry from Church Robinson and today we're going to be looking at 94 Mendip Heights which is located looking onto a lovely little green and has allocated parking for one space. The property is shared ownership and is currently being sold on the open market with 75% of a share available to purchase. As you come into the property, you walk straight in towards the hallway, which is carpeted with stairs rising to the first floor and then a door going in towards the sitting room. The sitting room is a very good size. As you can see, the client has quite a lot of big furniture, which doesn't dominate the room at all. The flooring that we have in here is of wood effect and it does go through towards the kitchen as well. But in terms of the sitting room, front aspect, so you do have the look onto parking area and also for green as well so it's a nice view to be able to have when you're at home. You also have understair storage as a whole a very good sized room as your principal reception space. Now what's quite nice is as we go in towards the kitchen you have a wider than average entrance which is actually double doors so depending on how social you wish to be you can have either one of the doors open or you can have both of them open. As you come into the kitchen, um, something which quite uh, quite excited for me was actually the size of this space. So you have got a very, very spacious kitchen with dining area. You know, the kitchen as a whole, very nicely laid out with plenty of worktops and cupboards, both above and below. Again, as mentioned, the same flooring running throughout. Single window looking over towards the south facing garden. And as you can see, plenty enough space for dining. And I've now shut both the doors just so that way you can see what the room looks like should you wish to be enclosed if you're cooking. We'll go in the garden at the end, but just as a very quick sneak preview before we go on upstairs. And again, the kitchen itself, very nice room. Nice fact you've got the doors leading off to the garden and plenty of space for when you're entertaining, either in here or if not in your sitting room. So here we are at the top of the stairs. The stairs are obviously a nice straight incline leading to both bedrooms and the upstairs family bathroom. Going into the master bedroom to begin with, we have got a very large king size room with free standard wardrobes just tucked behind the door, a little alcove, and then room on the far side for either fitted should, should you wish, or if not freestanding. The whole of the property is very neutral throughout and a real credit to the owner as it is in pristine condition. So magnolia walls and then a neutral colour carpet. Views towards the rear, so another sneak peek towards the garden. As mentioned, it is self-facing, so you get lots of sunlight. And this room in here, as I said, of a very good size and very generous. Leading back out towards the landing. The middle room that we have here, separating the two bedrooms, is the upstairs family bathroom. So within the bathroom, you have tiled splash prone areas, standard size bath, and then you do also have a shower attachment over. Further down the landing, we then come to bedroom number two. So again, a very good size room, very generous within size, more than enough space for a king size bed, or double if you show wish. Within this room, we do have a little bit of a bulkhead behind the door. However, it's non-intrusive, and at present, obviously set up as a home study. However, you could always use it as a base for a bed, or if not a wardrobe set up if you so wish. So front aspect here, with again a slightly more elevated view on towards the green and then on the horizon you do also have a little bit of a view across the fields and farmlands which is lovely. Now to the left of where we have the parked cars today there is a play park so should you be a young family then there is an area where the children can go off and play but otherwise back to this room so I said a nice size Nice and neutral tones, again, easy for a new bar to move in without needing any work whatsoever. A good size and plenty of floor space going around. And then finally, upstairs, next door to the bathroom, 
We have a door which very simply leads in towards the airing cupboard. What a sun trap. So here we are now going into the garden. As expressed, it is south facing. Uh, the client has put down some good quality Asher turf so that we've got all your own greenery. The nice thing is you then do have some floral borders and shrubs just to give a little bit of change of colour throughout the years. So the garden does incline ever so slightly and you've got rear access just on camera and then you have a shed here as well. 